Rahman Rahim Blessed names Why was he named Ali? It was a peaceful Friday morning in the month of Rajab as the sun rose up gleaming upon the palm trees. All of a sudden the silence was broken by the cries of a woman as she struggled towards the holy Kaaba. It was Fatima bint Asad. She was crying out in pain as her unborn child was ready to enter the world. As she reached the Kaaba, she leaned against its walls and whispered, Oh Allah, I ask you to please help me for the sake of Prophet Ibrahim salam, who built this Kaaba. Please. Make the birth of this child easy for me. All of a sudden, there was a thunderous noise, and the back wall of the Kaaba cracked open, making way for Fatima bint Asad to enter inside. As soon as she entered, the walls of the Kaaba quickly closed behind her. 
the key holders of the Kaaba watched in awe as this scene unfolded right in front of them. One of the key holders ran to the front and tried to unlock the Kaaba, but no matter how hard he tried, the doors would not open. Their eyes widened as they all realized that a miracle from Allah was taking place right before their eyes. News of this miracle quickly traveled all over the city of Mecca as women in their homes and men in the streets whispered about what had happened. You see, Fatima was still inside the Kaaba. How did this event happen? How come the doors of the Kaaba opened for her and her baby? How will she survive without food and water? Why did this happen? The villagers were bursting with questions. Three days passed and Fatima bint Asad finally emerged from the Kaaba, holding a newborn baby in her arms. The villagers were instantly drawn to this beautiful baby and began gathering around Fatima to get a closer look. Their curiosity got the best of them and they all began shouting their questions at once. One man asked, Why did you enter the Kaaba to give birth? She responded, Allah chose me and called me into his home so that my child may be born in the Kaaba. A woman asked, What did you eat for three whole days? She answered with a smile, Allah sent me delicious food from the heavens during these three days. This reply only increased their curiosity. They began wondering, who is this baby? Why would Allah send his mother food from the heavens? How did the walls open just for her? An elderly man emerged from the crowd and asked, does this newborn have a name? Fatima bint Asad replied, Yes, his name is Ali. This was the name given to him by Allah while I was in the Kaaba. And an angel came and said to me, O oh, Fatima, Allah has said to name this child Ali. This is from one of his own names, Al Ali Al A'la, the highest of the high. This answer shocked the villagers. Another man asked, Why is this child different from others? Why has he come into the world in this special way? And why did Allah choose his name? Fatima bint Asad, who was a believer in Allah, answered, This child is special because he will be one of the first to announce the belief in one God. He will get rid of the idols and invite people towards Allah. When Fatima arrived home, she was greeted happily by her husband, Abu Talib, who joyfully took the baby boy into his arms. Abu Talib thanked Allah and began asking his wife about what happened. After listening to his wife's story, he felt honored to have such a special child. As the sun rose the following morning and people gathered around the Kaaba, they couldn't help but notice how the crack in the Kaaba almost seemed to be smiling. O oh Allah, send your peace and blessings upon Imam Ali alayhi salam, the high who showed the highest levels of taqwa and akhlaq. The end. Taqwa means being God conscious and guarding oneself against that which Allah has forbidden. Thank you so much for listening everybody. See you inshallah next time. Until then, ma salama. to listen about the birth of Imam Ali salam. He is the only one who was born inside the Holy Kaaba, which is in the city of Mecca. 
His mother's name is Sayyida Fatima bint Asad, and his father's name is Sayyidina Abu Talib. He has many titles. He is known as Haydar. And Asadullah, which means the Lion of Allah. And many other titles. He has a very special title which no one else has, and it is Amir al Mu'minin, which means the Chief of Believers. Let's listen to a lovely Nasheed about Imam Ali al-Salam's birth. Let us tell you about a first lady. Her name is Fatima bint Asad. She was the mother of four great sons. One of them is Imam. She is very brave. She is very strong. She is very patient. She is very calm. She has full faith on Allah. No matter what she has, she thanks Allah. No matter what she has, she thanks Allah. When he had 13 went down, she went around the Kaaba. When she was in pain, a wall split in Kaaba. A very special baby was born in the Kaaba. His name is Ali. He is very brave. He is very strong. He is very patient, he is very calm, he had full faith on Allah. No matter what he had, he thanked Allah. No matter what he had, he thanked Allah. He is the defender of Prophet Muhammad. On the day of Ghadir, he became his successor. He is the son of Abu Talib. He is our first. Imam. He is very brave, he is very strong, he is very patient, he is very calm. He had full faith on Allah, no matter what he had, he thanked Allah. No matter what he had, he thanked Allah. No matter what he had, he thanked Assalamu alaikum wa